Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God for his goodness. Father God, we give you heartfelt thanks for the rich kindness and generosity of your kingdom. We thank you that in your holiness you meet all our needs and provide us with safety both now and in the future. In these uncertain times, make your presence known to all families and households so that they may be released from anxiety for the future. We pray for parents facing uncertainty about um, employment and income, about health and well-being, about paying bills and caring for their children. May they put their trust in you and find peace in knowing that you care for them and will provide. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we bring before you all who are working to reverse the damage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for doctors and nurses, for carers and mental health workers, for all who keep our local services running. We think of those who have continued to work and now also those returning to work in challenging circumstances. We pray that they may be kept safe in their employment and be supported by the communities they serve. We pray too for teachers and pupils preparing to return to school buildings in the next few weeks. Lord, calm all fears. Give wisdom to the staff in planning lessons and social distancing arrangements and give new enjoyment and learning to children and young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, you desire that your children should live abundantly in safety and peace. Give wisdom to all in authority in national and local government. We pray that government ministers and officials may work effectively for good management and sharing of resources. May they make regulations to promote well-being throughout the community. And please give to your children grateful and willing hearts to help one another. We pray for towns like Luton, which are facing financial and employment difficulties because of the lockdown restrictions. Have compassion on all those affected and motivate us and the government to give the right support wherever it is needed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember before you countries where your children suffer the twin evils of illness and war. We continue to pray for Afghanistan and Yemen, that peace may come to their fractured communities. We think of Malawi, afflicted by rioting, the east of Africa, facing crop failure because of locusts, and many other places where safety is denied. May ordinary people in their weakness and despair know your strength and hope and may you guide their governments into the ways of wisdom and restorative action. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, you have brought healing and hope to us all. We pray now for all those who are sick, in hospital or at home, that faith in you may speed their recovery. We pray for those who are dying, that they may find hope in your presence with them through the valley of the shadow of death. And we pray for all who are bereaved, that they may be comforted in, your, in their sorrow by the sure knowledge of eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, let us pray together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We come now to a reading from the Bible, from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then, in his joy, went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 